this is Cindy and today I'm finally going to be filming my London haul and I did actually manage to pick up quite a few bits from London so I'm just going to show you the fashion and beauty related items I bought recently so I'm just going to start with the fashion bits first so the first item is this hat and it's from a brand called ASOS and ASOS I'm not sure if you know but it's like an online shop back in the UK so you can only get it online this hat I have been wearing so much recently and the people around me would have probably seen me wearing this hat because I wear this hat so often and I asked my sister Emma to order this even before I left Korea to go to the UK so luckily this hat arrived even before I arrived in London and the reason why I did that is because I really wanted a nice summery hat to take with me to Italy so I took this to Italy and I was there for I think seven days and I wore this every single day I think it's a great alternative to the black one I own I do actually have a black floppy hat which is from ASOS as well but I just thought that that was a bit too hot looking during the summer times because it's black so I love this and next up are shoes and these are my new trainers from Nike and these are the Nike Harachis when the Harachis first came out my boyfriend actually bought me a pair of silver ones and he got a black pair for himself but I had to return those because first it was very silver it was like foily silvery and second it was too small and the funny thing about these Harachis is that they come in really really small so my feet size are UK size 3 and European size 36 and Korean size 230 so my feet are fairly small but these they are in size 4.5 around a size and a half bigger than my actual feet size so if you want to buy Harachis keep that in mind they do come in very very small I just really like the color which is like a light gray and I have a matching trainers with my boyfriend and speaking of shoes I picked these up as well and these are from a brand called Monkey. I do actually have a few items from Monkey because it's my current favorite favorite shop. Monkey I believe is under the H&M group so it's European Swedish so I really like the design I really like the quality of it and the price is really really affordable as well so I was so happy when I saw these in the shop because I was looking for these kind of shoes for such a long time I just think these are the perfect height and they were really really comfy as well so I think I'll be wearing this a lot the next one is the top I'm wearing and this is from monkey as well the reason why I really like this one is because first it's monochrome I do have a lot of black white gray clothing I like the fact that it's monochrome but still very light because of a lot of white and I just think that's more appropriate for the summertime and the fabric is super thin and very soft as well so I really like that I don't know what kind of pattern this is I thought it was like a puzzle in the first place but it isn't it's like a splash of paints or something and I just really like it moving on I've picked up two jackets from monkey as well and I think these kind of jackets are called the bomber jackets but the reason why I wasn't really into them was because they were a bit too masculine for my likings but this one is very feminine obviously because of the color and the pattern and everything and it's got my favorite blue shade and I really like the corally pink bit as well and this one was 30 pounds and it's in size x small and the next jacket is a denim jacket and this was £35 which is a really good price for a denim jacket like this and this one was in size X small as well and the reason why a lot of my tops are in size X small isn't because I'm super petite or anything like that I just really like my tops to be very fitted and very tight so this one is in size X small as well and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this during the autumn time it's actually really hot here but I can't have the AC on because of the sound that it makes and the next few bits are from Primark Primark is a really really affordable brand in the UK so I mainly get my basic stuff like vests and socks and my PJs this one I showed you guys on my Instagram and it's basically a Minion crop tee and I have a thing about minions, I just think that they are super cute. I'm not sure if these are meant to be um, PJs, but I do wear this when I'm going to bed. This was in size 6 and it actually says minion made over there, which is super cute. And the next t-shirt is this iPhone monkey emoji trio t-shirt, which you would have probably seen me wear in my events video, but that one was in black. And this time when I went there, they made a white one as well, so I obviously had to pick it up. And the next one is from Topshop, and it's this crop tee. 
I bought this from Topshop but the brand is actually uh, Brandy Melville and Brandy Melville is a brand I heard of a lot from YouTubers but they were mainly from American YouTubers so I thought the brand wasn't available in the UK but I think they recently launched it and I'm not sure if you can see it's just so soft this fabric is so soft so it's got a cute tiny little alien face on it so I just had to get it my boyfriend was like it's so cute you have to get it so I got it and I think they only had like one size so yeah super cute alien t-shirt the next one is from American Apparel and it's cropped again I just love the peach shade and I think it was around 20 pounds because American Apparel is really expensive last but not least for fashion bits is my favorite purchase which is this bag and it's from a brand called Skinny Dip. I went in there with my mom and my mom saw this bag first and she was like, you have to get it, this is so you. So I got it. I really like wearing these kind of shoulder bags. I just love the color and the shape and the simple design and everything. Basically, it's got two pouches attached together so you can actually detach it like this. I think I'm going to keep it together like this because I do carry a lot of stuff. I think it was like £30 which is really reasonable for a great quality bag like this so I'm so happy about this. And the next bit are beauty makeup related items. So the first things I want to show you are these toners from Pixie. I mainly really like this toner because it doesn't break me out. The ingredient kind of works as a chemical exfoliant so I don't do like harsh exfoliating on my skin so I really like this toner. So I'm using this now and I've got this much left and I've got a backup with me. Next one is another toner and this is my holy grail item again and it's the La Roche-Posay Cerezing. It's just like a spray toner. Whoa, that's salty. I saw this in a pharmacy called Zest Pharmacy. This was the last bottle, so I only managed to pick up one bottle, but I love this stuff so much. Next one is my new face cleanser from Origins, and it's the A Perfect World Antioxidant Cleanser with White Tea. Basically, I wanted a new cleanser, so I picked this up. I really like it. I've been using it every single day. It lathers up nicely. It doesn't break me out. I don't think it's too harsh, so yeah. The next one is my Holy Grail Serum from John Frieda, and this is the Frizzies Extra Strength Six Effects Serum, so it's like a hair serum. I started using this since first year of uni, so it was like five years ago and it eliminates freeze, protects from humidity, protects from heat, smooth, hydrate, taint. I just apply this to my wet hair from the middle bit to the end and it just gets rid of the dryness and the frizziness on my hair. Someone actually commented on my Instagram photo saying that um, she thinks my hair looks really healthy and nice and I said, this is my secret. And the next item is from Kiehl's and I actually picked this up in the flight from London to Seoul and this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I basically saw this from Essie Bottoms video I think and this is like her holy grail skincare item so I apply this after the toner and the cream and yeah I just really like it for my dry skin. I do recommend it for dry skin girls like me. The next items are makeup items and I'll show you this one first which is my beauty blender. I don't know I was quite hesitant to pick this up because I think first it's just so pricey. I do like my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge I think that's just good enough for me but since everybody loves a good beauty blender I thought I might have to try this one out and I think I picked this up from Selfridges and it was £16 which is more expensive than how it's sold back in America but if you think it's made in America it's being imported to the UK so it makes more sense to be more expensive in the UK I was so dying to try this one out but I had to leave it in the packaging so that I can film this video but now I can finally try it out and report it back to you guys and the next purchase are lipsticks and this is from MAC and this one's from NARS and I'll show you the MAC one first and I actually picked this up in the duty free on the way to the UK and it's in the shade Lady Danger I think I saw it from Essie Button's video again I just love her videos and this looked so so pretty on her I do like this kind of orangey reddish shade but this is a lot more orange than I expected and I just think it's perfect for the summertime Next one is Nars' lipstick in the shade Gypsy and 
basically it looks like this. The reason why I picked this up is because I have been meaning to pick up the NARS Dolce Vita lip pencil for such a long time. So every single time I went to Liberty or Selfridges, I was just keep asking, do you guys have the Dolce Vita lip pencil? And they were like, sorry, we're out. And basically the shopping assistant was like, do you want a replacement of the Dolce Vita lip pencil? And I was like, yeah, what do you have? And she was showing me a few different options and she was showing me a different lip pencil, a Dolce Vita lipstick, a shade from the Audacious line. I like this one the most because it looks very moisturizing yet very pigmented. But I think this one isn't exactly appropriate for the summertime so I think I'll get more use out of this lipstick during the autumn and winter times. This is the MAC mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle and basically I saw this in my friend Thompson's video and she said this was her holy grail highlighter so I wanted to try it out. Um, I haven't tried it out yet but I could tell that it's such a pretty pinky champagne highlight that is quite intense. I think I'll have to try this out and report it back to you guys. The next one is an eyeshadow from NARS which I have tried and this is the Christopher Kane eyeshadow in Outer Limits which I picked up in the Duty Free again and I basically couldn't get hold of this from the department stores because it was sold out everywhere but I managed to find this in the Duty Free at Heathrow. It's basically like a really glittery eyeshadow which has got pinky and orangey glitters which which is very unusual, that's why I was looking everywhere for this. I just feel kind of bad to show this in my video because it was limited edition and I know that it's quite hard to get hold of this now, so I'm sorry. I think that was everything. Yeah, I got through everything. I hope this video isn't too long or too boring for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me and I'll see you guys in my next one.